All right, it's your boy T-U-G. It's your boy Turk, Yoda, man, whatever you want to call me. It's your boy Gotti, man. Man, today we dropping gems on y'all, man, you feel me? So stay tuned. We finna basically give y'all some of our backstory and what we at now, you feel me? Hopefully it inspires somebody in their story or change a motherfucker life if they want to be changed, you feel me? But who want to kick it off, man? Go ahead, man. Let me rub my wood. Y'all shorty bad stay in school. Definitely. Game making shit is not what's up, man. Get y'all some money, man. Make y'all mamas proud, man. All that street shit, I don't want to be out here and all this and that. That ain't, that ain't what's up, gang. Why you, why you feel like they should uh, stay in school, though? Because that, that's what a million's at, man. Y'all want to... Y'all always say y'all want to, you know, put y'all OG in a big old crib. What well, you think that school going to do? Going to give you them millions. Not this trap shit and all this and that. Them, them books. Going to give you them M's. For real. So what, what you feel like be the reason why a lot of niggas leave school? What y'all feel like be the reason niggas even? I feel like niggas be trying to follow, follow after the footstep and... They be trying to be something, they ain't, they be, they be looking at the streets and shit, like that shit so fun, cause you know, motherfuckers used to do the same shit, you feel me, but. So hold on, you got, you got, you, you graduated for? Yeah, I graduated, I got my G. You too, then? You ain't graduated? Nope, but I need to. Man, it's always time to go back. I just finished um a little college course, you know, finna go back. Yeah, I graduated, you feel me? Yeah, like bro said, it's, it's good. I'm going to move on, but it's very good to uh, stay in school, man. Not even just for the money and shit, but for the experience. I know a lot of niggas, I know a lot of niggas wish they never dropped out. A lot of niggas and yeah. bitches. Like college, look. Like college, bro. I ain't even going to lie. You know, we went to that college party for that shit changed my whole perspective on life. Like we graduated, we already graduated and shit, you feel me? We go to a college party, we 18, 19, you feel me? And I'm like, damn, this what we missing, you feel me? Like we, this what we missing, this, this is crazy. And we, we really on the block and shit thinking that's the life we want to live and shit the whole time. We be doing shit every day, like, damn, we been missing all this shit, like every day type shit. Why, why y'all think we was missing that shit though? What y'all think was wrong with all Too focused on, cause we was too focused wow. on, on some other shit, you know? Yeah, we was boxed in, man. Damn villains finest at the time, you feel yeah, me? And motherfuckers don't show you nothing, you don't know nothing. So you feel me, motherfuckers old heads ain't, you feel me? Motherfuckers ain't never take like us out the city, you feel me? To go so, kick it and shit, you feel me? Motherfuckers ain't never taught us shit, showed us nothing. So yeah, really ain't no that's shit. That's definitely big, though. Um, I feel like that's what, uh, that's what I, that's my way of teaching, you feel me, is to take the shorties and show them shit they ain't seen and then hopefully it inspire them, you feel me, because that's what got me was uh, leaving town, going to bigger cities and shit, just seeing the lights, literally seeing the lights, like we ain't got that shit in Danville, our tallest building is by the courthouse, you feel me, like Yo, just we'll seeing see them lights bitch. and colors and all that shit, it's like damn, this shit really lit. And we really out there wasting our potential, you feel me? Can't even be who we want to be, can't even live how we want to live because we looking over our shoulders or where about the next nigga, you feel me? But really, our mentality, being out there, we is real boxed in, folks. Like, I ain't going to lie. Real. I left the Ville like 2017, 18, one of them. But it took me like a year or two to realize and see shit differently, but... I ain't gonna lie, that's There's the that's the best the that's the best decision I'd have ever made in my life. Mama. Getting the fuck up out of there. For people like us, the veal ain't nothing but a case or dead. Man, let's tell them. Let's tell them dead. about how we was 2017 though. In 2017, wow. we couldn't even turn a corner for without getting pulled over. You feel me? We couldn't even go go up the street without a shootout. You they know me? about the go Honda, this, man. This facts. Like we couldn't. We got pulled over literally every, every fucking day. Like the police. What the police tell us when we got pulled over, bro? We we come to town. We ain't even live out there. We come to town. They telling us every time they pull us over. We only doing this because we know every time y'all come to town, listen bullshit. You feel me? Who wanted to live like that? You know what I'm saying? 
I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say whether the motherfucker was lying or was telling the truth, but who wanna live like that? You can't go this place cause the police gonna fuck with you. Then you go across the tracks, you gotta worry about them niggas. Then you go to the club, you know what happened at them clubs, you feel me? So it's like who wanna live like that where you can't even really enjoy yourself in a mind state I know we all was probably in, we ain't even give a fuck about enjoying ourselves, you feel me? Cause motherfuckers already know like when you lose the people we lost and shit real life loved ones and go through that type of trauma that shit fuck with your mentality forever you feel me we all still deal with ptsd all type of shit you know in wars and shit when they come back fucked up that's what they dealing with that post-traumatic stress you feel me and we really dealing with that shit and trying to act normal keep up a smile and shit like everything cool like we ain't just see a nigga we ain't just see a nigga brains or see a nigga bleeding out and shit like this shit real, bro. You feel me? This shit real, and a lot of niggas really need help, though. For but for the youth, all I can say for the parents who got kids and that shit, stop trying to who out there tweaking the shit. Stop acting like y'all don't see that shit for one. You feel me? Yeah, oh, bro. Stop yeah, acting like y'all don't man. see that shit for one. Y'all yeah. see them little dumbass kids Dude, on that bitch man. posting guns. But I'm gonna give y'all some gems for real. All that posting guns and shit is stupid as hell, bro. It's oh, yeah, a lot of stupid as hell, bro. They came and got me from the high school. That's stupid as hell. Posting blicks, posting media. all that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that when I see y'all you. Taking, taking y'all phones on, on whatever y'all doing. They pinging that shit. All that. Stop using them phones, bro. Stop thugging over them. And phones. a lot of y'all shorties in the video, y'all be doing that shit because that shit looked cool when we was cool, doing that bro. shit. For we was doing that shit, that like that shit was serious, y'all. It's so y'all out niggas. there playing. It's folks. so many niggas with switches, folks. How so many niggas with switches, but ain't nobody popping no dead? You feel me? And it just in our little town. It's so many niggas with switches, ain't nobody popping no shot of dead. What y'all doing? Y'all in that shit for an image, nigga. You feel me? Y'all want an image. Y'all want to look like the killers, look like the tough niggas, look like the rappers. Be your fucking self, bro. If it ain't true, don't try to make it seem like it's you. You feel me? We got real smoke out there. Motherfuckers, the lost motherfuckers behind this shit. You right. niggas beef with each other. Y'all did. Y'all niggas did. Yeah. Grew up with each and other. A lot of y'all don't even got real life beef with each other, boy. Y'all just following the next man. Y'all need to go. But focus on the bag, man. Right, for sure. Focus on school, too. And motherfuckers got realized, bro, when we was out there, we had motherfucking 32s, 38s, deuce deuces, pocket rocket dillages, shotguns, shit like that. But how, how, how was more people ending up fucked up from them situations that y'all got Drake switches and all these Glocks at 13, 14? Like, come on, bro. Is y'all really trying to do that or is y'all trying to look like y'all do that? Yeah, you feel me? A whole different place. It already is, and it's sad. You feel me? Because I miss, I miss, I miss when we can we can go to the football games and see the shorties playing sports and shit. You feel me? No football games, basketball games, nothing. No prom, no none of that, on bro. And I ain't never did shit. I'm just a bitch ass nigga. Oh, bro, fuck that shit. Fuck that beef shit, man. Go to school. College where it's at, man. Go play sports. That shit where it's at. Niggas don't want to hoop no more. You feel me? Niggas don't want to be football players no more. I know y'all talented. Y'all niggas niggas want to be push shiesty so bad, man. Shorties that really talented, man. Leave them streets alone, man. Sing. Nigga, if you could sing, oh my mama, I wish I could sing. You niggas could sing and want to be so gangster with y'all mask on and 80 degree weather and shit. You feel me? Y'all don't even, y'all wasting talent. That's a million dollar talent, folks. Y'all don't want to sing, y'all don't want to dance, bro. Y'all goofy as here. Y'all generation fucked up. I, I pray for y'all, bro, because I want y'all to do better, bro. You feel me? Because yeah. we, we really had a hard, bro. Where we from, though? Where we from, bro? We really from poverty, folks. From roaches and rats. Facts. You feel me? We really from poverty, folks, and we we, we got up out of there. Now, baloney sandwiches and noodles. If we did it, I feel like anybody could do it, bro. Like, real shit. Yeah. It's really like, I hate the niggas that we came up with and they still boxed in. You feel me? I hate that shit for them. You know what I'm saying? They love that lifestyle. They love being out there and that shit. When they can come live way better. You feel me? And it's a lot of niggas I know with potential and shit who know how to hustle, who know how to do anything. 
and niggas don't want to do it because they so used to the lifestyle they living out there. That shit really hyping them up. Like, they really enjoying them likes and them views from the same people that's going, if you die, go kick it with your op, go fuck your op. You feel me? And y'all really getting hyped up and boosted from that shit. And it be like, I feel bad for y'all, bro. But I love y'all. You feel me? But I ain't fucking with y'all just off the fact that niggas ain't trying to change and want more for they self and they peoples. You feel me? Oh, bro. Yeah, it's definitely time. It's 2022, man. We getting older, man. We got kids now. Well, I don't. But a lot of y'all got <laughs> kids now. You feel me? But did, did y'all look at back in, back in motherfucker? When we was all in high school, yeah. Bro, that shit like 2015. 2015. Did y'all, what did y'all imagine 14. us being, though, bro? Like, what, what was y'all? I ain't Did y'all even picture Bro, I swear to God, bro, while I was in school, I wasn't even thinking about school. Y'all know we was leaving that motherfucker. Nigga, I wasn't thinking about no high school, ass. college. Oh, my Y'all know I don't know what the fuck I was going to school. I was going to school to kick it. I wasn't going to school, we man. We was going to school to fight. Because phone was up oh, in there. That's why we I was going to school. Oh, phone Yeah, but phone was going to school. 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 Phone I used to go in that bitch first hour and cut out. We used to be yeah. gone right yeah, out bro. any door. I know for me, I ain't even picture bill. no future, folks. Like, I ain't even. I had dreams and shit. I wanted to do a lot of shit, but the way we was living, bro, it was like, I was thinking, fuck that shit. Like, it ain't even. I don't know. It's like I was boxed in, basically. You feel me? We ain't, I know I ain't care about that shit, bro. Like, I ain't think we are making what we at now. I ain't think, shit, I ain't think we is going to live this fucking long to be honest. Niggas yeah. finna be 25 soon, you feel me? I ain't so start like thinking shit. about this shit till I had my first son, 2018. And when y'all see this, and y'all know y'all see us, we is not bullshit. I know y'all mm-hmm. think we on here just talking, you know, laughing. Yeah, ain't and no, ain't no capping my rap, man. We not capping, man. Real shit, man. Go to school. Make y'all mama proud, man. Leave them streets alone, man. Real life, there's a lot of shorties dying, man. Real life at 14, 15. Come on, bro. Come we on, just man. lost one. We just lost one. You feel me? On, man. 15, man. And you got to think about it. Never be 17 right now. You feel me? The thing is, he ain't really get that second chance, bro. A lot of you niggas getting second chances. We got second chances, you feel me? All type of shit, bro. It's really shit we supposed to be dead from. We supposed to be locked up from. All type of shit, bro. But God kept us here for a different purpose. And it's sad to say, on oh, bro, he took the words out of my mouth. He supposed to take advantage of them blessings, bro. That's exactly what I did. He ain't fearing you for nothing. You feel me? Real shit. Oh, bro, like real shit, like. All the them shootouts that y'all be surviving, and all them, you know, the getting raises. out of jail, oh, raids and all that. Come on, man, that be God. What? Real right. life. A lot of y'all done got we shot look, a lot we of gonna time, share. We gonna know, share a little like, bit. It's gonna we gonna it's give y'all life. a little insight, bro, just to show y'all how real God is. You feel me? And how he be blessing shit. But we ain't gonna say too much. Like me and bro, it was a situation, nigga. We supposed to be dead from. You feel me? It's a situation we wreck. Niggas get down on us, hit the whole side of my car up. Literally hit the whole side of my car up. I'm thinking I'm through. I just close my eyes and like, damn, it's over with. I'm like, it's over with. Nigga, when I got up, I get up like in a movie like, damn. I'm asking, bro, you good? (laughs) All right, bitch, let's go. You feel me? Like, that's real life. That's how real God is, bro. We got we got purposes out here. Even the people he take, bro, they got purposes. We just got to learn them. We got to learn them lessons from, from losing them. You feel me? And it's like, bro, that shit real. We survived for a reason. We here to talk about it. With that being said, what's the closest you ever came to death? <laughs> Man, I done fucking survived death so many times. I died when I was a kid. The I closest. used to be suicidal, folks. The you closest, know? like, in I the streets type shit. In the street. In the street. Probably we went to jail. The last time we went to With jail. With the police I was. Yeah, I feel like, um, that was probably the closest yeah, I yeah, ever yeah. thought I was going to die. Let me see that. You feel me? Yeah. Like, um, I thought the 12 was going to pop us. Yeah, I thought they was going to kill us. I ain't going to lie. I'm broke. 
They almost hit my boy with the cop. Yep, all uh, type of shit. Twice. <laughs> but yeah, I thought um, my last case, that's probably the closest I ever felt to death. I done been in plenty of shootouts. I done been shot at so many times. Car wrecks, all type of shit. But the moment I really feared for my life and thought like, damn, when you know we get on our phones, we see black niggas dying for no reason every day. We see we see black niggas dying shit for being black, shot in their car from the police, all type of shit. But the police seen me running with the gun in my hand. You feel me? After he just seen some shit. And what you gonna think? You feel me? What I say in the car after this shit happened? What I say in the car? You feel me? Oh, they for the killers. Oh, bro. I tell bro, no, I'm finna get down on them first before they get down on us. You my feel me? On my mama, them niggas like, boy, bitch, you tweaking. You feel me? I like, I ain't tweaking shit. You don't watch the news? They even told us that they was gonna kill us. Oh, bro. Hey, this shit ain't no joke. They don't, they don't let a couple yeah. of the guys die. They don't let a couple of them, them other niggas die. And they know it. it's facts. This ain't no game, bro. What's you the close? What's the closest you came to Devil got you? I think our last case. Yeah, uh, both of y'all that one. That was an eye opener, oh, bro. My you shit. Think about it, folks. I ain't never been. It's a lot that it, I mean. I only say that because it's a lot we can't speak on. Yeah. But my yeah, first been. Last case. My my closest, <laughs> the closest I've been to death. My fuck they blew at me, but my fuck <laughs> don't be really having no aim out there, for real, for real, but. I ain't gonna lie though, my the close the close time I came to death. Was you with me when we was in Honda? On what on what's that I ain't I ain't gonna say the street, black, but you remember that shit though? Nah, I wasn't with you, I just got out. <laughs> and all we had folk that we was in that bitch though, folk motherfucker tore that bitch up though, motherfucker was tote tear shit I back up, it. but did you pull it up on the Hey, but but y'all, if you know, you know, man. Yeah, it, it, this shit ain't, no, shit game, ain't no game, folks. <laughs> ain't no game, bro. Like, yeah, and, and, and it, we just because about you it. got a gun don't mean you a killer, you gonna survive anything. It's the thing. Even a if you is a killer, get, folks, that shit don't mean, mean shit. Mean if nothing. The nigga got, I don't give a fuck if you not like you, you can have a million a shots on you. Goofy. If a nigga got the ups, folks, that shit don't matter. You feel me? And not even if he got the ups. Whoever God put in that situation to lose, that's who's gonna lose, bro. Exactly. You feel oh me? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this without saying much. I don't have shit done to me, and I don't give shit to people in situations where God let motherfuckers escape each time. Bro. That shit real, bro. And that shit changing lives for real. You feel me? Like yeah, shit. whether it was my life getting changed or another motherfucker life getting changed, that nigga. Speaking through us and moving through us, bro. But niggas out here playing with that shit, ignoring they blessings and wondering why they falling short. You feel me? No one is real out here. And bro. then say, like, y'all, y'all create all this beef. You know, say, fancy, you got one enemy that you know. Y'all see each other. It's on sight every time. So imagine if you with your kid, and you know you see him. It's on sight. You know he don't give a fuck. And so what if he starts shooting? Then the what if your crazy. kid get hit? Ain't no more morals oh, either. Man. It ain't, ain't no more. Females ain't getting scared. Kids ain't getting scared. Females Mama, out here wrong. This shit crazy. Like, come on, man. I feel yeah. like FBG Duck back then. All my eyes were some bitches. <laughs> Why y'all think saying I love you is important? You feel me? What did some some You never shit? know when you're going to see a motherfucker right. again for one. And there's right. too much backdoor activity going on, man. And hey, let me tell this story. Cause this damn near when that shit got real, it was on uh yeah the day bro died Shannon, I was over there I was at my girl crib and shit with his girl, and shit we was out we was just kicking it Esther and shit he had walked over there with bro and shit and uh he had told me to come smoke with him and shit but but uh she wasn't trying to let me go outside and shit so I was in the crib and shit. About, I would say like 10, 15 minutes later, man. Motherfuckers called, time out, bro, the guy shot and shit. It was so crazy though, with shit. I could have easily been there with him and shit. And I ain't gonna say what could have happened, but shit. On that story, man. He supposed to win with us to the city. But Come shit. On, it's just crazy though. Life is crazy. Know all that shit. 
It's like, bro, Man. really, it's a lot of them niggas, like, that shit really important, bro, because a lot of them niggas I didn't get to say that shit to. Like, Hunto, I ain't get to tell them that before that. The Mullins, you feel me? Uno. Uno. We was like, I was B-Mac. locked up for Uno, Uno, you feel me? Yeah, I got to tell B, I got to tell B, I got to tell Clay, you know what I'm saying? Really, a lot of they ass, you know, it's important to say that shit every time you leave somebody you really love, you feel me? Because you will never know if it's the last time you're going to see them and that shit for real. You know, we got all these shit, that shit in school, dead Walmart, shit. all type of shit. You got to let them motherfuckers know, like, going it's on. real love, bro, because shit can happen any type of way. Car wreck, anything. You got to expose that shit, like, I really love you, this genuine, and I mean that shit, like, even with Haiti, you feel me? Motherfuckers ain't here just get to tell, bro, I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not even thinking like some shit can unexpectedly happen like that. Hey, that was you know so fucked up. We had a disagreement about something, you feel me? At the end of the day, he told me, I love you, my boy. You feel me? I'm here if you need anything. Bro, Real life. That shit important, man. You Hug y'all them. mamas. I don't give a fuck what they put y'all through. What nigga they put up If you love them, tell them you love them, man. You know what I'm talking about? This shit real, life is real, man. This shit ain't no game, bro. Especially if you playing with love, bro. If you love a motherfucker, just tell them that. Me and Clay, we seeing that shit that. for real. Like, that, that's crazy. Like, my nephew 15, bro. He was just 15, bro. And I really had to tell him when everything gave me, like, bro, I love you, bro. You good? You need a pipe? What's what your word, brother? You finna walk in there, you straight? Shit like that, bro. Like, you shouldn't have to tell no 15-year-old, like, man, bro. Make sure you got your gun on you. Remind him he got to keep his gun on him every way he go and shit. You feel me? And it ain't just because my nephew was on some gang banging shit, none of that shit. Motherfuckers fail to realize that boy was really talented. talented you feel me? That everything he did, every sport, that's why he got so much love was from the sports. Fun. You feel me? But that shit real, bro. Even though I got to tell him I love you and shit, I still ain't seen my shorty for like four days before he died. You feel me? I think we talked like the day before he seen me hooping on, on my story and shit. Asked what I was on, where we at. I'm like, shit, yeah. you need to get out here. And that's the last thing I got to say to him. I you mean, know? we was working out. <laughs> oh, bro. I, I, I ain't bad. gonna lie, what I be thinking he was about, so though. Talented. No cap. Yeah, well, everybody, so everybody, everybody already, man, everybody, man, everybody know so that. Coming. For sure. Yeah, he was something different, for real, for real. But what I be thinking about, though, is, though, that's what I be thinking about though is though, bro, he was just like us, bro. Oh, bro. And, and we, we could have been bro. just like that. This is easy. Real life. Numerous, fluky numerous shit, times, bro. Fluky shit though. It ain't even like my nephew just went out there on some dumb street shit. And that's why I be trying to my tell. My nephew died in a car for and they do nothing. That's what we be yeah. trying to tell y'all little shorties and, and my little brothers and everybody else, man. That Stop. shit ain't where it's at, man. Yeah, what fuck's gonna be uh, dead in jail? Y'all ain't really got no real. Come on, man. Just stop. I'm gonna say, like, cool. bro, y'all little niggas, y'all young, bro. The that's, real. That's, that's really good. <laughs> y'all the, the future. future. And look, I'm gonna tell you why it's so fucked up for the shorties, especially the little niggas. I know, and them little niggas across the tracks. People fail to realize them little niggas across the tracks, they really family. A lot of them really related to us. You feel me? We done seen a lot of them shorties grow up and shit. They chose they side though. I don't, I mean, it's hard to understand what it's damn deal. It, I, I guess that's what happened, but um, basically, if you put a motherfucker that fear a nigga, niggas fear niggas that fear them. That's why the streets fucked up. How you around a nigga and you scared of this nigga? And then he scared of you whole time and trying to put on a persona because he know you scared him. You feel me? So niggas sending these shorties off that they scared of, but really? the shorties scared of them and respect them enough to listen to them. That's how it was with me? us when we they, were they hearing, they hearing stories about these niggas thinking these niggas um, really like that, but yeah, really in reality, they starting to see like, damn, this nigga ain't did shit since we came around. Like, is you really like that for real? That's why niggas, that's why the shorties lose respect quick. You feel me for these older niggas because they, Hear these stories, these war stories. They see them, they like. Then they just kind of fuck out. This nigga really a bitch. Bitch. You feel me? I like, never he really like that. Sending us out. You feel me? I ain't and never seen y'all. Y'all. I ain't never seen the big homie other than the movie. That shit, motherfucking fictional. 
Real life. In my, and in my to, city. If niggas you know, tried to come around yeah. and do that to us, bro, but it ain't no, ain't nobody look out for us, bro. Like, real shit. Ain't nobody give us no game for real. Nothing. None of that we shit. We just open our eyes, You know what I'm man. saying? We, man. Oh, bro, we did it on our own. Real life. Real life. Out of all the things that we've been through, we we want better for ourselves. We this want the a thing, better bro. life, see look, a better life. Look at, I just want the shorty, especially the little niggas who fuck with us and look up to us, whatever, any of that. Look at us, bro. We done went from 100 niggas to 30 niggas to about five niggas. You feel me? Seriously. We, it's right. about five niggas out of each. Everybody got their own little groups now. But it's about five niggas in them groups that people can call. You feel me? Whether it's to slide, whether it's to kick it, whether it's to come from some family shit, any of that. It's only five niggas, but we started 100 deep. Why is that? Because we was running with niggas when we was young. And we ain't knowing a lot of these niggas got envy in their heart. They feel some type of way over other shit. You know what I'm saying? Then we just growing up. We growing apart. Like... I'm playing fair, bro. If y'all ain't willing to die by this shit or kill about this shit, fuck it, bro. Even if y'all want to kill about this shit, you ain't gonna gain nothing. You gained a little credibility. You gained a little street credit for some niggas who ain't got street credit. You gained a little street credit for some niggas who bitches. Who been getting past that. What you doing it for? For fear? You want them niggas to fear you? Ah, oh, yeah, I just scored on this nigga. Imagine what I do to the next nigga. That shit don't fucking mean shit, bro. That don't hold no weight. You feel me? A killer can be killed, bro. We all bleed, bro. That shit don't hold no weight in these streets. A punk can kill. Anybody, a kid can kill. You feel me? That shit don't hold no weight, bro. You ain't getting no popularity from that shit. Like, either you gonna motherfucking go to do life about this shit, or you gonna die about this shit, bro. No, really, that shit facts. Everything them old niggas was saying, your mama them was telling you, it's two roads in this street. That shit facts, bro. Ain't no motherfucking, you can be halfway in, halfway out. You feel me? That's it ain't it. gonna work. Oh, my mama. All right, we done, though.